turned up. <laughs> yeah, last night was a movie. It was a movie, for literally. Yeah, um, what song we, we did last night? That uh, Look In My Eyes. Look In My Eyes. Yeah. I think that was really dope. Thank you, man. Um, that's a great song. I think, uh, dang, man, I want to play that song before we leave, though. I do want to play that song. You can pull it up for me before we leave, right? Yeah, that's good. All right, cool. So tell me, uh, where are you from, man? I'm from Vegas, man. Born and raised. Born Long and Vegas. Vegas, yes, sir. Born and raised in Vegas. How was it for you growing up in Vegas? Like, for real? For me, growing up in Vegas, man, I would say that, I don't know, my experience was a little different than other people, you know what I'm saying? Being that where I grew up at, you know, the side of town that I come from, you feel me? I would okay. say growing up in Vegas for me was more or less just uh, finding myself, bro. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, you know my story more than most, you know what I'm saying? Without uh, a lot of people being absent in my life. Mm -hmm. You know, so my childhood was a little all over the place. It took me a while to get it together. Yeah, but you did. Yeah. You here now? Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, I don't think uh, a lot of people know, but our community knows. Mm -hmm. um, tell me about uh, October in 2018. Oh, man. So uh, October 2018, off of Lake Mina Simmons, my, uh, my aunt was killed. My big cousin Tay, my little cousin Nene. Mm. It's all murdered in the same night, you know yeah. what I'm saying? And uh, since then, the family just been working as hard as we can, you know, to stay together as a unit, push past it, get past the, the pain, you know? Gotta work together as a unit. That yeah. cannot break the family up. I know it hurt me because I am family, yeah. you know what I mean? And so I want people to know that, you know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, that's a part of your story and we're going hard for them. Right, right, right. Nash Strong. Yeah, facts. Hashtag Nash Strong. Right. You feel me? <laughs> yeah. And so uh, the music, man, you are, you got a lot of hats. Yeah, brother. You running a label right now? Oh, yeah. You got oh, my bad, my bad, for sure, yeah. There you go. You got a lot of hats. All right. You run a label? What's the yes, name sir. of the label? Money, it's called uh, GMB, Get Money Business. GMB. Get Money Bandits. It's actually what we just recently turned into. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? And how long has it been GMB now? Because I remember it was a lot of other uh, things before, but what, what are we doing now? How long has it been that? It's been about three years we've been pushing the GMB thing. Three years. Yeah. Strong, though. Three years strong, yeah. You feel me? Um, a lot of music on SoundCloud, yeah, right? Yeah. Um, how many songs do you think you got? Man, if we talking unreleased or released? All of it. All together, oh, but I would say I at least got like what about 325 songs that's sitting hard, on the computer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah bro. <laughs> I don't really work, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Real, like, real. And that's just me alone, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, we got other artists that got just as much music as I have. Name me, the, name me some of the artists so they can know what's happening. We got Bars Barkley, yes, you we know do. what I'm saying? Yeah. We got uh, Connie P over there, you hey. feel me? We got, uh, we got It's a Twin, yeah. you know what I'm saying? GMB Titter, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? My boy Madeira out there in Cali. Yes, sir. I forget about you, Madeira, if you're Madeira. watching. Hey. You know what I'm talking about? Boy, about to get married, man. Yeah, Bro's man. about to get married. Congratulations, by the hey. way, brother. No, yeah. Um, and then we got Hefe, you feel me? Yep, yep, yep. Can't forget about 300. Yeah, 300. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Man pulling all the strings back there, man. That's right, man. Mm -hmm. How do y'all, like, get it so close? How y'all so close? How does that even it took, happen? Uh, it took a lot of time, brother. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of time, like, finding people that you're comfortable working with, people that you uh, can communicate with without, um, you know, uh, conversations going wrong. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, even if the conversation does go wrong, you know, finding somebody that you can have a disagreement with and still be able to work past it. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. uh, it took a long time, bro. Because like, you can get into it with your brothers and still yeah, be brothers. Yeah, facts, yeah. You may need to take a little break. <laughs> <laughs> but it's okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think, I, I like that because it's like an old school feel for me. You know what I'm right, saying? Right. Like, I've seen family members get into it and things mm -hmm. of that nature. And then maybe three months later, they back kicking it again mm -hmm. because you can get over it. Today, I think it's a lot of sensitive you know, yeah. people out there. We see with us, like, after we lost the family, you mm. know, we just kind of, like, started pressing that line. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, all that arguing between each other, you know what I mean? Like, tomorrow's never promised. Mm. You know, so we try to cut that short as much as possible. I know that's right. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. yeah. Who we got sitting next to you? I got my, uh, it's my producer right here. It's my main man, Six Pack, man. You know what I'm saying? What's good? How you doing? Yeah, how man. Saying? What's happening, man? It's been a minute, man. We're how waiting for this moment. You know? Ah, uh, how you yeah. feeling over there? Man, you know, I'm feeling humbled and blessed, man. Just very grateful to be in this position where, I mean, this guy, this guy, three zero man, three hundred. This whole team, this GMB, I man, y'all, y'all be on the lookout. They got some amazing on the way, man. Right, yeah, right. y'all keep your eyes open. Really. Energy crazy, right? Oh my goodness, man. And I tell you what, you know, one of the things like he was saying, you know, you, you're around your folks, your people's one not It's about that vibe, the energy, that that ability to under a circumstance where you get a misperception, misconception, or yeah. you know, you know what was communicated or whatnot. Yeah. The ability to baby, uh, you know, own that and go, you know, mm. maybe I. 
Okay, what did you mean? That and, is real. And, and conversate and correct that. You that know, is real. Be, and, and not let the tension slide just because right. yo, y'all, y'all, y'all unrelated and stuff. Right. Because you know, family get on family. My little brother just yeah. had to apologize to me today. You <laughs> so feel? you already That's know. That's my yeah, little brother, yeah, man. Yeah. You know what our motive is? What our, what, our, what our slogan is? Low key, something that we go by. You know what I'm saying? Is no man bigger than a program. Mm, you know what I'm yeah, saying? That's true. It doesn't matter. Like we got a chain of command. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But even though we have the chain of command, you feel me? At the end of the day, no man's bigger than a program. It's, it's, a, it's a team effort. It's a team thing. Yes. It's no iron team, you know what I'm saying? No, it's not. It's all about unity, you know yeah. what I'm saying? As long as we continue to move that way, right. I see us doing big things. I do me? too. What do you think, too? Should I plug it and be like, uh, you know, we take we take the males and switch them to W's and yeah. flip them to M's? Absolutely. Right? You know what I'm talking about? Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Um, now, Six Pack, what you think about their work ethic? Oh, my goodness. It's man. crazy. But these, these guys. Nonstop. Like, look, real, real talk. I've yeah, never, right. you know, there are certain aspects that I'm expanding myself. And this, you know, 3 0 right here, man. Yeah. Well, two nights ago, three nights ago, he looked at me and goes, do something fresh, man, right off the top. Like, let's just make it. And I'm telling you, he, he he doesn't claim to be B Baker, but you let him hear the instrument, he'll tell you where to put it, how he wants it. He mm. he can executive that right off the bat. Yeah. And I'm telling you, by the time I got done making a beat, you know, a half hour, 45 minutes, he's like, hey, cool, let me play, practice my lyrics. Like, he was on. Yeah. Like, right when he started to feel and really started, fit, like, the, the concept, the topic, and the emotion behind what we were writing, yeah, yeah, yeah. he was on. And had top of going. He was on. And, man, what, he, what that man came up with was brilliant. Yeah. I mean, y'all I heard it, I think. Man. Oh. Yeah, man. Connie P. <laughs> What's that? Turn our mic on, fuck. Me, man. Let me see. Let me talk to Connie V one time, man. How I'm actually it? newly trapped Zelda. Trap Zelda? Oh, oh yeah, she did. Stop right. playing with me. You already know I have to change that up real quick. Hey, she do. She do. She do oh, know how man. to get some money, man. So I got a question. How is it working with GMB for you? And and three O being, you know, who he is to you. I actually love working with GMB, okay. and um. When I first met 3O, he was actually my big motivation for to keep getting in the studio, like mm. constantly working, constantly working. So it's just kind of like I actually just love the unity, the family, and actually just working with a team like that keeps me pushing and keeps me going. Like, you know, yeah, so right. it's just like it's just like all of us together. We just keep each other going constantly. So it's just I don't know. It's just a blessing to me mm. to actually just be a part of something right. this strong. Like, you know? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And so last night, man, you turned up at a good old hotel. Oh, uh, yeah, brother, you had to. <laughs> bro, my body's still feeling some type of way from yeah. the stairs. Bro, I think they all feel some type of way from the stairs. <laughs> hey, I see, you know, I believe it. I believe in our age, I see. We're not supposed to do this. I think yeah. 30 is supposed to be our shutdown I right now. So. Like, how old I am is supposed hey, to be about that. A, er, uh, that's PM, not AM. Right. So we got it mixed up last right. night. You know? did. Right, <laughs> we did. Right, right, right. So tell me, man, why go so hard, bro? What is that about, man? What, what's that about? And for me, bro, it's just about uh, it's about putting our uh, the, the new generation and our family in a better predicament. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So they don't got to go through what we went through growing up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like generational wealth. You look around and you see these families. You know what I mean? You see how when the father or the mother passes away, they'll leave something behind. They'll leave yeah. some property, some something. You know what I'm saying? Some yeah. money, yeah. something life insurance, something. You feel me? They make sure that that money continues on throughout the family. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, um, that's something that I'm trying to create here. You know, yeah. for my family, for my people, you know what I'm saying? For them and their families, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And also, another thing for me is uh, getting involved in the community, brother. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm trying to, I'm trying to, like, I don't know, like, I want to change Vegas in a way that makes it better for families, you know what I mean? Make it better for children to grow up at, give them something else to do other than run the streets, you know what I'm saying? Do you know how many generations you are here, people born and raised here in your family? Uh, let me think. I would say I'm about the third. You the third. Yeah. And then your kids will be the fourth. Yeah. Like that, right? Yeah, yeah. So we are the mud here. We right. are the foundation here. Mm -hmm. That's how I feel like we got to really do something different for the city because we are going to be the history of the city. Mm -hmm. Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I'm rocking with that, man. Um, <clears throat> for you, man, um, the, the interviews, um, it's, it's crazy because you are a humble person. Right, right, right. You feel me? Yeah. It's time for you to get your show now? Yeah, I'm working on it, brother. One day at a time, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I'm, a, I'm naturally an introvert, you know what I'm saying? So right. it's like, right. I'm, I'm still breaking out of that shell myself, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But being around people like this, they help me do it every day. <laughs> Good. You know what I'm saying? Slowly, like, they, they, right? Oh, <laughs> they, don't, they, don't yeah. me, they don't let me slack, bro. Oh, God. Tour coming up. 
Yeah, Tori coming up. What's happening? Where we going? Oh, my goodness. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Where we going? Go ahead, man. Oh, uh, three. This wow. One. You know, uh, yeah. yeah, we got a lot going on. I see, uh, you know, three. Uh, I, I got a, another artist outside of uh, GMB that I produce with GMB, but uh, I got another artist of mine. So, you know, these guys make it such an impact. I thought, what well, better opportunity than to take mm-hmm. take this on to the to next level, you know. We, we've we talked, you know, in two years, man, we've been running around out here. I see, I tell you, I don't do local stuff. Mm-hmm. So these guys are going to get out of it, you know. They, they're going to leave this local scene and take them out for a bit. We got uh, was that Phoenix. Uh, Phoenix, we got, look like, uh, uh, May 21st. Mm-hmm. We hit uh, Des Moines, Iowa, uh, May 27th. Mm-hmm. And then uh, mm-hmm. looking like Missoula, Montana, mm-hmm. uh, like, uh, June 4th, 5th weekend. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then we come back and, oh, we got some headlining artists uh, that mm-hmm. we're about to hit. Man, y'all, y'all got no clue here. Things are going ahead. We got yeah, a busy week. Go you ready? I'm definitely ready. You I'm ready? Wa- I've been waiting for so long, for man. A minute, huh? You know what I'm saying? I do. I it's do. Premeditated, brother. Like mm-hmm. people have no idea how many years I sat back and planned everything that's going on now. Yeah, they don't. You know what I'm saying? Like, man, bro, I'm yeah. just, I just feel blessed. What does uh, West Las Vegas mean to three y'all? Man, that's home. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Where my family come from. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Born and raised in the West. Mm-hmm. West, West, yo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, and so, where, like, what is your your heart? Where's your heart at on the West? Where's your heart? My heart on the West, brother. Honestly, I can't put it in a particular no Pacific area. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, my heart is with the people. Good. You know what I'm saying? Good. Like, my heart is with the people, brother. Yeah, that's that's good, man. Yeah. I want to get into some music. So, I don't, you live? I don't, somebody needs to give me some music from Three O right now. I need to find out what's happening. I need to hear. <laughs> I need to hear uh, let look me in see, my eyes. Let eye. me see. I can get off of this right fast. Yeah. And, hey, y'all can go right now to uh, roomserviceradio.com, or you can go on my Facebook or whatever. But we live, baby. We live. Uh, YouTube. You look up the number three R I O. Yes, sir. Three R I O. See what I got for you. Um. Yeah, I need to look in my eyes, man, because it's it's really a good song, mm-hmm. and um, it's a it's a motivational song. It's a song motivational too. song. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, let's yeah. get up, get this. P- it's time to go. It's time to grind. <laughs> exactly. I mean, you know, that's how I live my every day. Exactly. <laughs> right, leave the past behind. Just keep moving forward. Yeah, just keep know? leave the past behind. Keep moving forward. Keep going. That's pretty much what. Now that the song funny, the funny like. part about that song, right, is I literally. Woke up in the morning, rolled out my bed, bro. You know what I'm saying? I had the studio set up next to my bed. You know what I mean? Yeah. I rolled out my bed, bro, and I, and I started recording this track. That's an iPhone, so I got the iPhone cord for you. Oh, the, you know, the, oh yeah, back good. Adapter yeah. ready. Huh? Yeah, ready, ready. And um, I want you to introduce it, man. Um, man, how long you been doing music now? Man, now? It's been about 10 years now. 10 years. Goodness gracious. Yeah. Been about 10. Here we go, right here. All right, let's do it, man. I need you to introduce it, and then we're going to get into it. All right, so this right here, Get money. This song right here is called Look In My Eyes. Like I say, I made this fresh out of my sleeve one morning, you feel me? I actually freestyled a lot of it. A lot of people don't know that, you know what I'm saying? Okay. But um, That's why it's so fun. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I had it, I had it playing at Lacey's a lot. Okay. Uh, what is that, 2019? Yeah. Before they closed before down. Before the pandemic. Not out there. A lot of people coming out to it, so okay. it's a decent song. Y'all tell me what y'all think let's about it. Let's go. Look In My Eyes. 3-0. It's Trio, Trio. Yeah, yeah. Huh? Huh? Look, I woke up this morning with the look in my eyes. That get up and get it. That get up and grind. I know niggas be tripping, but today I got time. I ain't worried about them. I stay on my nine. I woke up this morning with that look in my eyes. That get up and get it. That get up and grind. I know niggas be tripping, but I stay on my nine. Did he guess me slip? Oh no, not I. No, 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 no. I woke up this morning like fuck it, let's get it. I woke up this morning like fuck it, let's get it. I woke up this morning like fuck it, let's get it. I woke up this morning like fuck it, let's get it. I woke up this morning like fuck it, let's get it. I woke up this morning like fuck it, let's get it. I woke up this morning like fuck it, let's get it. I woke up this morning like fuck it, let's get it. I woke up this morning like fuck it, let's get it. I woke up this morning like fuck it, let's get it. I woke up this morning like fuck it, let's get it. I woke up this morning like fuck it, let's get it. I woke up this morning like fuck it, let's get it. I woke up this morning like fuck it, let's get it. I woke up this morning like fuck it, let's get it. I woke up this morning like fuck it, let's get it. I woke up this morning like fuck it, let's get it. I woke up this morning like fuck it, let's get it. I woke up this morning like fuck it, let's get it. I woke up this morning like fuck it, let's get it. I woke up this morning like fuck it, let's get it. I woke up this morning like fuck it, let's get it. I woke up this morning like fuck it, let's get it. I woke up this morning like fuck it, let's get it. I woke up this morning like fuck it, let's get it. I woke up this morning like fuck it, let's get it. I woke up this morning like fuck it, let's get it. I woke up this morning like fuck it, let's get it. I woke up this morning like fuck it, let's get it. I woke up this morning like fuck it, let's get it. I woke up this morning like fuck it, let's get it. I woke up this morning like fuck it, let's get it. I woke up this morning like fuck it, let's get it. I woke up this morning like fuck it, let's get it. I woke up this morning like fuck it, let's get it. I woke up this morning like fuck it, let's get it. I woke up this morning like fuck it, let's get it. I woke up this morning like fuck it, let's get it. I woke up this morning like fuck it, let's get it. I woke up this morning like fuck
I swear to God it hurts. I had to put that in the verse. Run up on us now, I swear you get it murked. I had to put that in the verse. I'm the best nigga, better get the work. I had to put that in the verse. This morning, with the look in my eyes, huh? That get up and get it. That get up and grind. I know niggas be tripping, but today I got time. I ain't worried about them. Stay on my nine. I woke up this morning, with that look in my eyes. That get up and get it. That get up and grind. I don't know if be tripping, but I stay on my nine. Did he guess me slip? Oh no, not I. If you don't know 4 0, nigga, then you know it's a no no, nigga. Right. If you don't know my niggas move B, then the nigga you don't really know me. Right. If you don't know my big bro 3, oh. then the nigga you don't really know T. Right. If you don't know KGR, uh -huh. you don't know what we're trying to get on. Uh -huh. If you don't know my big bro Wack, right. big bro might do you wrong. Uh -huh. And if you don't know TM3, then you don't know Bark Bark Lee. Right. That the first kind of PY3. Uh -huh. Wait a minute, my nigga, that's me. Can you tell what a nigga is on? Hey. My president hey. shit, yo. Hey. This president hey. shit, dog. Hey. They get better than this, yo. Hey. Hey. I'ma need about five ten more. Oh, more. Racks in this bitch, dog. That's right. That's Every right. week, yo. Get money. For the gang of the recall. Get money. Get money. GMB. Yo, I'm over here chewing my gummy bears and stuff. <laughs> I done got addicted to gummy bears. I don't even know what happened. Uh, yeah, I try to stay away from that candy. <laughs> that so for you, man, um, this video, I feel like it's it's gonna do something great for you. What you yeah, think? I definitely feel like it is, man. I, uh, we took time with this one. We did. You know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. some dialogue in there. Try to put like a little story scene to it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So. Uh, Try something a little different this time around. What makes 3 Yo stand out from any other artist? Not just Vegas, but artist, period. Have you heard him? <laughs> I have. <laughs> I'm just, I don't know if they have. <laughs> <laughs> you ask, you ask what, what stands out. Just listen. You'll hear it. <laughs> for me, um, I don't know, man. Like, for me, I would say what makes my music stand out, brother, is the pain that I put into it. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Now, don't get me wrong. A lot of people put pain into their music. You yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. But I put, I literally put me on them tracks, bro. Like yeah. everything I rap about in my songs. It's real life. Ooh, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it is. You can, you listen. Tell God, drop me down right now if you yeah. hear a bar and I'm for lying. Real. For real. You know what I'm saying? For like, real. It's all true. It's like everything. You know what I mean? Yeah. There's no fiction in my songs, bro. Right. You know what I'm saying? I put my real. I put my life on there. You know what I mean? Yes, you do. Yeah. I, I feel that. Um, I want to say this. Uh, listen to a lot of your music. Um, it's very mature and it's mm -hmm. hip hop to me. Right, right, right. It's not trap rap, swag rap. Yeah. It ain't even rap. It's hip hop. Pure hip hop. Right, it's right. nice to hear something Pure that with that substance mm -hmm. behind it. I appreciate you know, that. That, that real, that art behind it. And he's still in his 20s. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? 35 is going to look crazy for this man. So. Right? <laughs> <laughs> and that's what I'm saying. So, uh, Royce level. But that's, that's my. <laughs> Take on it, you know what I'm saying. Right, I want right. other people, you know, to make their own decision. You know what mm -hmm. I mean. But I do want us to explain that to them before they hear it. You know, it's kind of like a preliminary. You know what I'm saying? Like this is what you're gonna get, yeah. but then they gonna make their own decision. Mm -hmm. You see, the reason why I kind of steer away from making all that trap music and stuff. Like, mm -hmm. don't get me wrong, everybody loves trap songs. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But it's like that's not really the image that I want to put out there for myself. Okay. You know what I mean? Like even with like you know coming with gang banging and all that, you feel me? Yeah. That's not the image that I want to put out there for myself. Yeah. You see me on the streets, people know who I'm from, they know who I am. Yeah. And I don't have to say that no more. You yeah. feel me? So it's like I don't know. The way I look at it, it's like everybody really trying to get out of the streets. Everybody really for trying real. To, yeah, you know what I'm saying? So it's like why continue to perpetuate that, that in your music? Back into the into the, you know what I'm saying? Glorify. Like, told y'all he yeah. it's like mature. A, a yeah. You feel me? Like, <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I just I don't know. I'm trying to do I something do. different, bro. I do. Um, I, I don't know. I mean, people, y'all need to go uh, look him up. So look on on um, SoundCloud. What is what is your name on SoundCloud? You can look me up at uh, Three O Las Vegas. Okay, you know what I'm saying on SoundCloud, the same thing. YouTube. Um, I just actually just re recently recreated a new YouTube, so I'll be having uh, all my music drop on there real soon. Yep. Um, you can look me up on Reverb Nation. Type in uh, same thing. Uh, Three O Las Vegas. Yeah, and then so, also you have Instagram. Yep, Instagram Three O Las Vegas. Las Vegas. My Facebook yeah. is uh, John Shaft. John Shaft. John Shaft. John Shaft. John Shaft. <laughs> I think of that every time <laughs> I go to Facebook and put this man that hey, name. You know what's so funny about it, brother? Homies, bro, they be having me die laughing like every time. Every they time, that name, bro, they bring it up. Every time, and so um, I, I wanted I wanted people to go follow you um, and, and check out the music. You know what I mean for themselves, for mm -hmm. sure, for sure, because it's going to be a lot more coming. From, yeah, a lot more from coming. Y 
You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it's going to get a little crazy out here. Yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? Because I, I, I think you're going to now be named in some of these circles. Mm -hmm. They're going to be saying your name. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you, your boy Chosen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chosen Rule. Yeah, Shout out. Right? Shout out Chosen. Shout out Chosen. Fact, Chosen. You know what I'm yeah. talking about? Right? Uh, this is him calling me right now. Let me go. I'm in that he's being mentioned yeah. now. Mm -hmm. He ain't put out a project yet. Mm -hmm. But he's being mentioned because he's putting out Dope visuals, visuals. Mm -hmm. yeah. right? They be sleeping on Chosen. Chosen got right. bars. Bro. He got bars, so, right? And he don't he write his music, bro. Like he just off the top. We be in the studio. Everybody got a pen <laughs> and shit, right? <laughs> this nigga Chosen sitting back there, like yes. <laughs> like, hey, let, let me know when y'all are done. He right like, that like, minute, he like that and then, statue. He like that Even I'm ready to record. I be like, yeah. right, fuck it, come on. You know yeah. what I'm and it be dope. And it be live, bro. And so he's being mentioned though. You feel yeah, me? Yeah, yeah. Um, and I, I'm putting, I want everybody in the hot seat, regardless if you pay for it or if it's free. I want you in the hot seat, right? Right. And so I, I wanted you to get in the hot seat so that people can hear you and see you because you got some good music. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And we're going to do more than SoundCloud. We're going to do more than Reverb Nation. You know right, what I mean? Right, yeah. That's just, that's just the real. Uh, I also got music on uh, Apple Music, also Tidal, Spotify. You just type in 3 Las Vegas, man. You can really yeah, find go. me on any platform, you know what I'm saying? All right. Um, oh, you, most of my uh, most of my recent music is on SoundCloud, you know. So I would say go uh, look me up on SoundCloud yeah. three or Las Vegas if you want to hear anything recent. <clears throat> and when you follow him, you'll see that Icy Jones is managing him today. Yes, so, sir. Yes, sir. You know, I had to do a little shameless plug. You know? <laughs> but it's yeah, it's about believing in someone, yeah, right? Me. But for me, it's also about the relationship. So yeah, I can see you a dope rapper. Yeah, I can see you do this. I'll consult you. I'll help you. Whatever. But when it's management, I got to spend way more time with you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and I'm I'm coming around. I'm always gonna be there. But now we managing. Oh, no. yeah. I gotta be on your head. Yeah, I called him today. Hey, you know you got an interview with me. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Don't like take it easy on me either, bro. You I feel me? It, you know what I'm saying? And and that's Need what it, it is. But I believe in you though, bro. Yeah, so I see you did look over the uh, the caretaker clause on that. There, man. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. It's, it's a lot of work. A lot of work, man. It. It's a lot of work. I think he'll make it easy on you though, man. He's a blessing the world with real talk. Um, but it's it's not just him though. It's a label. Yes. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Team. So, team, so it's a lot bigger than just 3-0. You yeah, know what I mean? Facts. And yeah, I'm facts. with all of that because I have a relationship with everybody. Yeah. And I just had to ask someone, you know, last night, hey, we good? We straight? Like, oh, yeah, mm -hmm. we, you would know if we wasn't. You feel me? Right, right. I, that made me feel good. Like, okay, <laughs> cool. You feel me? Because yeah. I want to make sure everybody understands what we about to do. We about to go somewhere. You know what yeah, I mean? Bro. I don't even know what we finna do, but I just know I'm finna put all my, my all into it. You feel yeah, me? Yeah, yeah. So everybody, please go listen. Go check them out. Let them know what's happening. I do have a question. Do you have anything you want to tell the people? Anything you want to say? What you want to you want to give out there? Uh, at this very moment, man, I just want to uh, a big shout out to my team, you know, all my supporters, all my followers, you know what I'm saying? Everybody that's been tapping in with me, you know what I mean? That's what keeps me going, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? A uh, big shout out to my family, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? The, uh, the mother of my kids, you know, she at the house holding it down. Holding it down. Watching the kids for me so I can be out here doing what I'm doing. That's a fact. Because you know Jane Ketcher, I'm every strong man you know, and even kids, stronger bro. woman. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, so you know what? I'm going to let you, I'm going to let you do this. <clears throat> I got about six minutes left. Yeah. Tell me for real, what does the West Side mean to you? Or excuse me, tell me for real uh, about your your upcoming for real, for real. Man, so like, I don't know. It's always a touchy subject talking about like my childhood was all over the place. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I mean, we I got know, we like, got a good six minutes, so you can give us. My parents. I got time today, blood. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> my parents. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know, bro. They was married at a point in time in life. You know what I mean? When I was together. It was probably like, those are the best memories of my life, bro. Wow. No cap. Got it. You know what I'm saying? Got it. So, like, when they split up, you know, things kind of changed for me. Broke. Yeah, his family split up. You feel me? Siblings all over the fucking nation and shit. You wow. know what I'm saying? All and, over uh, the nation? Yeah, just separated. Wow. All six. Not just the place. Nah, I've got, yeah, it's, wow. it got greasy. So, like, me and my brother went to the West. Okay. You know what I'm saying? The rest of them we went off in their ways, you know what I'm saying? And so, you know, we were just stuck on the West Side, basically just, you know, surviving. And that's when OG became like your mama. Yeah, no, she did become my mama. You know, she stepped in, she looked after me, uh, clothed me, put food on my stomach, a roof over my head. Rest in heaven, Took me Susan to school. Nash. Yeah. It was at my basketball games, you know what I'm saying? Yes. Like, my man, biggest supporter, bro, I miss her every day. Okay. You know, and, uh, I don't know, childhood for me was about more or less uh, evolving because of I ain't have no choice to, you know what I mean? Like, I didn't, I didn't have no time to be a child. You had to grow up. You know what I'm saying? Fast. Like, yeah. It Mature. Like, fast. Yeah, fast, bro. So I'm out there 15, and in the pinkies, I got my own spot. You know what I'm saying? Wow. Like, you know what I mean? Dug in it. I ain't had no choice, though, you know what I mean? So. Yeah. I feel like I grew up faster than a lot of people my age. Of course. You know what I mean? And, uh, I'm glad you was able to say that, because I didn't know that. Right. 
I've known you for so long, and I know that everybody was split. Oh, yeah, I don't talk about my childhood too often. On the, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, goodness gracious, right? Yeah. And then the the breakup, the mm-hmm. divorce, really, really wrecked some stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I'm a, I was an adult when my parents got divorced just recently, mm. and it still hurt. Yeah, I was a youngster, bro. I you was in elementary school. I'll never forget it. I'll never forget the day moms came in there with her bags back. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, she, I'm thinking she's going to just go and, uh, somewhere down the street. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, mom, let me come with you. You know what I'm saying? She's like, go pack you a bag. I'm in there putting nothing but toys in my backpack, bro. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, right. Uh, my sister come in the room crying and shit, talking about she didn't want to go to school by herself. So I go in the room to my mom and like, look, like, I'm about to go to school with my little sister. You know what I'm saying? I don't want her to send her to school by herself. She's like, all right, baby. And she gave me a kiss, came home. She was like, gone. Gone. You know, my whole fucking life changed from there. You'll never forget that. You know what I'm saying? Wow. Yeah. That's deep. That is deep. And that's how I ended up on the west side. That's how I ended up young Mac 3. In the streets? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But you you got a good family, though. Cause yeah, it's facts. like I got a beautiful family, yeah. bro. I got the biggest support of my grandmother, bro. Look, you know what I mean? Yeah. Man, I got it. Don't get me wrong. Not How did strong, you become you know young at Mac 3? I got about three, four minutes. How you become oh, young man. at Mac 3? That's actually a funny story, right? So, like, I was dealing with this situation. I'm not going to, you know what I mean, say too much yeah, about it, right? But I was dealing with this situation or whatever, you feel me? And at the time, like, the only person that was really there for me mm. was Mac 3 himself. Got it. You know what I'm saying? Like, yes. and I, at that time, bro, I was broken. Like, didn't know what to do. Didn't know how to handle the situation. You know what I'm saying? Didn't know how to even carry myself. You mm-hmm. feel me? I'm just lost. I'm like, damn. You know what I mean? Everybody turning their back on me. You mm. feel me? Like, damn. And Mac 3 was just like, nah, bro. I got you. Pick your head up. Come on. Wow. You feel me? Like, nah, I ain't going to let you slip. I ain't going to let you slip. I ain't going to let you slip. You know what I'm saying? They used wow. to call me Young H at first back in the day. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And after me and Mac 3 had gang that, you know what I mean? That relationship got tight like that. You feel me? Yeah. I just ended up following the suit, and that's how I became Young Mac 3. You know what I'm saying? Hey, like, let's go. Shout out 300. Shout out 300. Yeah, shout out 300. One of my biggest motivations is 300, man. Right. You know, and I don't tell him enough. Okay. And you that's, know what a, I mean? that's a man with wisdom right there. Right. Yeah. 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 You know what I'm saying? Very, very wise. Yeah. Well, this clip will get played a thousand times. <laughs> We're going to make sure he see this one. Oh, yeah. 100, oh, yeah. man. Oh, yeah. Hey, man. Hot see with Icy Jones, man. Make sure y'all tune in every 12. I mean, every Friday, 12 to 2, right here on Room Service Radio. Okay. We've had I Am Joe I Am up in here earlier, man. Great young dude. Pass the torch on to him, man. Do your thing, young one. We had Deacon T's Hot Topics, man. That was crazy where the little girl got suffocated by her own grandma, and the grandma's on the run now. Oh, okay. That's wow. crazy. That's what I And then we got you, 3 0, man. You gave yeah. us a breath of fresh air, man. <laughs> All right. We out of here, man. See y'all next week. Same time, same channel. You know what it is, man. Let's Jones Room Service Radio. Peace.